to episode 12 of the Auto Intel Project. Our, next, our current video today discusses do-it-yourself maintenance and the safety series, and we're gonna be talking about headlights. And the reason we're talking about headlights is my headlight went out, so I've gotta fix this today. I'm not gonna walk through the entire thing, but it's pretty simple, you can do it yourself. So there's the do-it-yourself maintenance part. I would like to talk about headlights though. Uh, factors to consider when picking a headlight, how bright they are, uh, the coverage, so how wide it is, uh, color might matter to you if you're looking for a particular appearance for your car. Uh, cost obviously matters, and then durability and longevity, and then whatever else you want to consider, brand, all these other things. I want to focus and just actually bring up the element of cost. Because one thing people say is they look at the price and they're like, that's the, co the cost. And it's like, kind of, but not really. So I bought these particular headlights to swap into my car. Pretty simple, these are about 30 bucks. And as you can see here, they've got a rated life hours on the back. What you're really interested in knowing is cost per hour type of thing. So I've compared this Sylvania headlight against another one, Extra Vision against Silver Star Ultra. The base one at 30 at Canadian Tire, $32.99. That's these ones right here. The Silver Star Ultra were, were $59.99 for a nicer headlight. I actually bought these ones because I thought they looked better. These have a sort of a warmer yellowish light and these ones have a whiter, brighter light, which I thought was cooler. Problem here is these ones are rated to last 850 hours. And these ones are going to last 250 hours. So while these ones were only 1.8 times as more expensive, once you had done it on about a dollar per hour basis, they became over six times more expensive for the fancy headlights. So if you are going to pick a different headlight, make sure you check your rated hours to get a true understanding of the cost. Another thing I want to talk about uh, is safety. You cannot get a top safety rating on a vehicle anymore unless you have a headlight of a certain quality. Top safety pick or top safety pick plus. We've talked about safety quality in the past before on, these, on this channel. Uh, so make sure that you're getting a headlight that's of sufficient quality to preserve, uh, to ensure you are safe while driving. Now let's zone in. I'm just going to show how easy it is to quickly pop out the headlight. Come right back here. You want to swing around on this side. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. There's a little red thing right there. That's the back of the headlight. All we do is twist and pop it out. And there's our headlight. So I'll just be, I'll do the switch in a little bit. I'll just run you quickly through my sources for some of this. So sources, Sylvania had the headlight we had. Uh, Bestheadlightbulbs.com, the information on the rated, on the, the, the hours. Canadian Tire for pricing. Young drivers, uh, one thing about safety, last one. I always leave my low beams on. I don't use the daytime running lights. And the reason for this is the problem with the daytime running lights is they don't turn on your rear lights. So if you're in like a foggy weather or the rain, then someone behind you can't see your car and that's no good. So I recommend using your, your low beams all the time. And then obviously high beams under certain situations. And then obviously our old uh, safety friends, uh, NHTSA and the IH, IIHS. So I'm going to finish this up and thanks for watching.